But over here, ladies and gentlemen, we've laid it out an 18-month system where you can build and work on your credibility. If you don't have it, you can establish it in 18 months. See, you've got to remember what the alternative is. The alternative was, was, was 40 years. See, 40 years, you were only going to establish what we call corporate credibility. Corporate credibility allows you to fill out a resume where somebody will tell you what your time is going to be worth on a daily or an hourly, weekly, or even an annual basis. That's what you were building when you were building a job, and there was only room for one person's dream in that job, and that's the person who actually owns the job. And you remember, you don't own the job. That's a temporary position. People say, well, you know what, you got a permanent job or temporary. It, all of them are temporary. Every single job out there is temporary, and I'm not down on jobs, but I'm up on opportunity. And that's what we have right here in Organo Gold. We have the opportunity. We've got an opportunity to go out there and change our financial destiny for many generations of people, and it's sitting right there, and it's supposed to be in your pocket. It's supposed to be in your left and your right pocket, your latte in your right and your black coffee in your left pocket. Five times a day. Five times a day. Ladies and gentlemen, when I did that, what I did after that was this here, and you can talk to those who got started with the Sam Bean, who was their Edwin Haynes, who was their brand-new blue diamond consultant, Edwin Haynes. And right over there in Vegas, lit, up, lit it up last night, Sam Bean, who was there with us, Ramon Fulcher, uh, who was also there at that time. Ask Mr. Emmanuel Bernstein every single waking day. We were giving out 20 to 30, 30, 20 to 30 samples per day of people. And we didn't have the four questions at that time. We didn't have it all together like we have it right now, but we were excited. We were fired up. If they wanted the coffee, guess what? We gave it to them. If they didn't want it, guess what? It didn't matter. We weren't sitting there trying to explain. We weren't sitting there trying to tell them how good it is for them. Why? We knew that there were 255 million coffee drinkers in North America, and we did not have time to sit there taking 20 minutes with one person when we knew that there were 255, 54,499,099 other people that we could be talking to. And that's what we were. We were in a hurry to make sure that we exploded the entire community first with our samples of coffee because we knew that it, this had never been done before. In your neighborhood, you may be the only OG distributor in your neighborhood. You know what that means? That means you've got a monopoly. You've got a monopoly. There's not one person on this call right now. Just think about it. You've got 100 customers that are drinking two boxes of coffee. That's 200 boxes of coffee. You're making $15 profit. That's a $3,000 a month residual income in your neighborhood. In your neighborhood. When we got started, ladies and gentlemen, we raised the bar. i never forget, and I was talking to the leaders, and I was uh, talking to those who I knew was going to get started with me, and I told them, I said, well, hey, listen, I know many of you got applications filled out right now, but, but, but just because you got an application filled out don't mean that you get in the top position. This is what we need to do, and I'll never forget. I got about 13 of the people that were, I knew was going to join OG with me, and this is what I told them. I said, listen. What we're going to do is we're going to show, set the example of extreme profitability coming out the gate. We're going to take away any excuse for a person to say, I can't afford. Okay? We want to remove that, 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 that phrase from a person's dictionary. We want to remove it from their vocabulary. And what we said is this. We gave for, we said, listen, we're going to take a week, one week. Okay? And I ran a promotion. And the promotion was this here, is I need every person every single person, to make sure they go out and get 100 customers. See, we talk about 10 customers over here, and it sounds real cute. No. People say, well, Holton, how, how did it grow so fast? Why, why do we got these, you know, why, are you, why, why is the company growing like this, and why do you have these other leaders making Because our standards, our standards were so high. 100 customers in a week, people, oh, maybe, can I get it 102 years? No, I gave them a week. Kimberly Phillips, ladies and gentlemen, got it in 24 hours, 24 hours, she had 100 customers committed to buy OG coffee, 100 customers, okay, 100 customers. Why can't you do it? Why can't you do it? Don't make the minimums your maximum. I want you to understand, most people want unlimited income, but they don't want to do unlimited work. They want to do a limited amount of work, but they want unlimited income. That doesn't go together. It doesn't go together. At some point in time in your life, you're going to have to stretch yourself. Craig Hill says it's freedom in a cup Friday. He didn't say it's fixed income in a cup Friday. He said it's freedom. I want you to define the word freedom and understand what that really means. Freedom 
means that you're free from restraint. There's no limitations on your thought process. There's no limitations on your imagination. There's no limitations on what it is that you can do. It means that you just have the complete autonomy to be, uh, to do, to go wherever it is that you want to do or to have whatever it is that you want to have. I want some of you to study that word freedom and understand that's what you have, okay? But sometimes we really don't understand it. We really don't understand it. We don't understand freedom because sometimes we, don't, we see ourselves as free when we're really not. You know, Harriet Tubman, she said, she said, I freed thousands of slaves, but I would have freed thousands more if they only knew that they were slaves. Now, I'm not here calling anybody if you have a job. I'm not calling you a slave. That's not what this is all about but I want you to wake up and I really want you to understand what you've got. Guys, we are so fired up right now about where we're going. The face of our company changes in January, and some of you don't understand when I keep saying that. Some of you probably think it's all hype. And I can tell you right now, as your VP of sales, it's not. I can tell you right now, Shane Moran and myself, have been. we were up in Canada And for two straight days, we invested about 26 hours straight. The last day we we started at 8 o'clock, we didn't finish till 9 at night, and we never left the boardroom. We never left for lunch. We never left for dinner. That's how important this was. People say, well, I'm tired. i got to eat. You know what? When your dream is real big, when your focus is right on point and you know for a fact that freedom is right there at the tip of your tongue, certain things become, you know, unimportant. Okay? Like taking a break at that time. It just wasn't sleep was not important at the time. Why? Because what we were doing during that twenty six hours, right? During that twenty six hours over two days, what we were doing, we were planning out the next five years of Organo Gold. We were planning out, we were laying the foundation for the next five years. Okay? And see, I, this is what I want. This is what I want you to understand. I want you to understand how to appreciate that, not how to appreciate me or Shane or Bernie. I want you to understand how to appreciate that, okay, because I can guarantee you right now there's probably nobody, if you're working a job, there's probably not one single boss that you have who's sitting in a boardroom for 26 hours planning on how to improve the quality of your life. If anything, what they're sitting there doing, and I know for a fact this is what they're doing. I own a couple of other companies outside of this. They're sitting there trying to figure out how do I gain more profits, And the easiest way to gain more profits is to cut salaries. The easiest way is to eliminate positions. They're not sitting there trying to figure out how to put more money in your pocket. They're not doing that. That's what you have right here, ladies and gentlemen. That's what you have right here at your fingertips. Okay? And when you know for a fact that that's what you have, and you know for a fact that you haven't experienced freedom, but you're working on your freedom, how could you not? How could you not sample this coffee every single day? How could you not do it? He said it's freedom in a cup. Okay? He didn't say it's safety in a cup Friday. It's freedom in a cup Friday. I want to congratulate all of the all of these sapphires that we have, the platinums that turned last month. Uh, uh, I know we turned record numbers of, 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 of platinum last month, record numbers of two stars, record number of, of, of sapphires, rubies, emeralds, you know, uh, uh, blue diamonds, four blue diamonds all in one month. Ladies and gentlemen, we had tremendous growth, tremendous growth uh, uh, last month. We grew our distributor base by 33% in one month. We increased 33% over the previous month. Why? Wow. 33% over the previous month. I was talking to a gentleman the other day uh, who, who's really big in the industry, uh, very well respected and connected in the industry of networking. Uh, he doesn't own or participate, but he, he provides a lot of different services. And he says, man, he says, he says companies right now, many companies are hurting. He says, you know, some companies are just completely flat. He says, some companies are just are, 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 are really hurting. He says, how in the world are you guys doing this type of growth, he says, I, I don't see it anywhere else. Okay? I don't see it anywhere else. And the thing about it is this, you know, people on the outside, sometimes they can see how great you have it, and they see it sometimes greater than those on the inside. You know, what I'm telling you is this here. Okay? It's the same thing of, of why do you see people who are outside of the United States? They don't come here for safety. They don't come here 
for a job. They come here because they can see opportunity greater than the people who live right here in the United States. They can see it greater. They see opportunity, and they come around, and, they, and, and some of them risk their lives to be over here just so that they can have the opportunity to give away a, a sample of coffee and actually be able to get paid, to give away a free sample of coffee and have somebody say, I like it, and pay them. Do you know that in some com- countries that's illegal? Do you know in some countries if you give away something and you accept money for it and you sell something for a profit that they'll put you in jail? And those people, they see it over here. You say, well, why is Jose Ardon working the way he works? Jose Ardon right now works like his lights are being cut off. Jose Ardon works like 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 he like he needs uh, 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 like he hasn't had food in ten days. Why? Because he recognizes it. He risks his he risks everything to be here. Because he sees the opportunity that all of us have, and he's taking advantage of it. Okay. These other leaders that we have, Abby Akiola, Renee Akiola, you know what they're doing? They're taking advantage of this thing. Okay. Luis Ventura, you know what they're doing? They're taking advantage of what it is that we have right here in Organo Gold. Ladies and gentlemen, you're no different. Many of you right now, you're listening to this call from work, and I'm, I hope, I hope that you're just so inspired and that you're so motivated to make sure okay, that next year, that you're listening to your call like I'm like I'm doing the call. Right now I'm standing out here by my pool. It's not bragging. I'm telling you this is how it's supposed to be. Many of you know that I started 2011 and I said that we're going to make the abnormal and it's going to become normal. Some people look at, oh, you're bragging. No, that's the way it's supposed to be. You're supposed to live in your own paradise. Why not? This is not just designed for me. It's not just designed for Shane Moran. This is not just designed for for John Saturus and Block of Saturus, the way that they live. It's not designed just for David and Monite to live life on his own terms, the way he wants to live them. It's designed for you too. Okay. But what they did is they accepted the challenge of turning something that was abnormal and making it normal. Why don't you have, you should have three, four, five, or six cars. You should make sure that the, that the place that you donate your money to or wherever it is that you give for your calls or tithes or whatever, that, that your tithe is probably one of the biggest. That, that you know, I, I was talking to Edwin Haynes the other day, and he don't mention all of this stuff, but I'll say it anyway. He says, man, you know, it was so exciting to, to pay off the mortgage for my church last week. He says, I went in and I did it. What's the mortgage, Pastor? He says, here, here's a check. Pay it off. I don't want our church being in debt. Okay. But do you know that three years ago he was in jeopardy of losing his house? He was in jeopardy of losing his house three years ago, and this is what he does. He pays off the mortgage for his church. Why? Because he's not afraid to go out there and give Sam's the coffee. We were talking yesterday, and we were just so excited, and I'm talking about his daughters and how fired up they are and the things that he's about to do. And he says, Bugs, he says, man, this is so exciting. He says, you know, they're delivering my Bentley this weekend, and I'm not even going to be there to drive it. Now, I know some of y'all, oh, well, you don't need a Bentley. Yes, you do. That should be normal. You go to some countries, you go you, 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 you go to Saudi Arabia, if you were one of those kings over there, no, guess what? Uh, that, that's what that's, there's nothing but Bentleys and Rolls Royces there. Don't look at that as materialistic. It's the finest quality in life. That's why I call it freedom in a cup Friday, not fixed income in a cup Friday. It's freedom in a cup Friday. That needs to be your life. Whatever it is that you want to. Now, if you don't want to, you don't need to get it. But but having the ability to do it and not do it is still freedom. Not having the ability to do it and not do it is not freedom because you don't know what it feels like to be able to do it. Freedom is the ability to do what it is that you want. Don't mean that you have to do it all. It just means that you have the ability okay, to do it all. Okay, to do what it is that you want. Ladies and gentlemen, you're talking about you're listening right now to a gentleman that 11 years ago. I was 45 days away from foreclosure. That's where I was. It just repossessed my car. Okay. I was a quarter of a million dollars in debt. I was not your VP of sales. I was I was not your the 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 Holton bug that that you know of in this industry of network marketing. Okay. I'm still that same person today in terms of that person. That's where I was financially. I wasn't free. Okay. I was a slave to bills. I was a slave to, to circumstances. I, w- I was a slave to creditors, and that's who I was working for. Okay? And I'll never forget, at that time, I was making about $6,000 a month. Sounds impressive to some people. But I was making 6000 but my bills were $6,500 a month. I was $500 behind every single month. 
I would have been better off making two thousand dollars a month and having expenses of only fifteen hundred. So that's why I tell people, you know, sometimes you just broke at a higher income level. That's where I was. But you know what? For me, enough was enough. And I remember the conference call that I got on that changed the whole picture of my life and why I went from where I was. And I realized that I was not going to allow my current situation to define my destiny. I was not going to allow where I was at that time to, to, to say, you know what, you can't do it. I got sick and tired of being sick and tired. I was at my emotional rock bottom. Okay? And I'm not saying that's where you've got to be. Some of you are listening on the call right now. Maybe you're doing extremely well financially, you know, and that's great. Okay? And I applaud you because you, you, you maybe won that financial battle, but maybe it's something else that you're building this business for. Maybe you want to do what Edwin Haynes did, did, uh, Haynes did and pay off, a, pay off the mortgage of your church. Maybe you want to do, you know, do some other things and purchase, purchase something for somebody else. I can tell you the more you have, the, the more excited you get when you're able to share it with others. Most people think that we get excited about how big our checks are. We get, I get excited about the wealth that I see that other people are creating. And I get more excited about that. I'm supposed to be wealthy. That's normal to me. That, that, I don't apologize for it. I'm supposed to be a multi, multi, multi gazillionaire. That's the way life is supposed to be. That's what I'm training my son to think. Why? Because that, that's just, if it's there, it's available for you. Okay? But I get more excited when I see other people have caught it and say, you know what, that's what I'm supposed to live to. Okay? Because I got sick and tired of having people call my phone because I knew I didn't have any friends. That phone number started with 1-800. And every time I saw 800 call up on my phone, I knew it was somebody calling me to ask me for some money that they had loaned me that I wasn't able to pay back. Okay? And I don't know what your issue is. Okay? I don't know what your issue is, but I know it's mine. That was mine. 